This is Chris with All Guns 101, and today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and clean a 1939 Luger. That's right, 1939 Luger, World War II. Uh, made by Mauser. I'm sure this was issued during the war to who? Unknown, but uh, let's uh, first make sure the firearm is safe. Still very stiff. That's why. And of course, it won't stay open. So then, let's drop the mag. Manually check, we know it's safe. So let's get straight to the brass tacks. Uh, eight round magazine. Uh, this is the one that came with it. It does have a feed issue, and I think it's the mag itself. Uh, besides that, the gun is actually quite accurate for the period. Uh, typical standard Beaver Tail sight, very low. Uh, but this gun is not meant for two hands, it's meant for a single hand. Uh, I've tried shooting with two hands, and uh, it, it moves way too much, personally speaking. So let's uh, get to it. So right off the start to get the disassembly done, it's actually uh, quite easy. Ah, now it worked. So there, now we're in business. From this point, since I don't have fingernails, you, I take a small screwdriver. And I just pry that down just a little bit. Because this pin will let you, if you remove it, take off your cover here. So now with the gun open, pull out that mag since we see that it stays, you can manually decock it, slide the whole assembly forward. This is your little tricky part, I like to put the gun upside down for this. This is the only part I always have problems with, because in there, and I'll show you once I get it out, there it is. You see how you got that little T as I call it? I don't know, I'm pointing at myself, but I know it's empty, so you have your T. Well that actually catches in here, and it hooks onto the bottom, and uh, keeps it in place. So from that point on, what you have to do next is the rest we can kind of forget about for the meantime right now the only important thing is to get this pin out uh, if you have a fingernail the pin comes out fairly easily just out one side it does have a shoulder so you can only put this in one way and then from this point on you pull everything out now what I've noticed and I don't know if you see is the spacing back here and here, once you pull that out, it's spring steel. So it tends to close up a little bit. So you're gonna have to force a little bit to get that back in. But from this point on, you do your typical procedure. Uh, I use copper. Uh, I have a plastic brush, which I find is completely useless. Also, for making my life simple, I use CLP Break Free. Uh, problem up here is I can't get it. So, I'm on my only reserve, if you want to call it that. So I try to use it sparingly. Eh, it's okay if it's a lot. It's a uh, heavy foam. So it foams up like no tomorrow. And then from this point on, you got to watch the other end of your uh, stick, because I only use this for the Luger in my 9mm, so I keep the patch runner on the back. So, you try to get a good hand on it. I didn't shoot it much, so it's fairly clean as is. It's probably had about uh, 20 rounds since the last cleaning. As you can see, some of the splatter coming off. It's not a lot of gunpowder. So that will probably be enough passes with the brush just to clean it up a little bit. From that point on, you can either run the plastic one just to get any like squeegee effect. That's what I use this for. This is just to get any of the excess uh, CLP out of there. Since I did a good job getting it everywhere. You can still see some of it's coming out. And this is just your quick uh, after range, not your, your monthly or annual teardown and 
cleaning from that point on. Take a patch. Uh, I bought patches in bulk from a, a 30 cal down to 12 gauge. Well, I guess up to 12 gauge and then even for 9 mil. So you just clean your, like I said, my guns uh, usually tend, have a tendency of being very clean. I'm able to run the patch twice uh, opposite sides. If I could get it to stay on. There we go. And you can give it a twist if you want, it doesn't really matter. But uh, I keep my guns clean. I keep my guns clean so that uh, I know that if there is an issue ever, I don't have the excuse of blaming my guns, it's usually I blame myself. So, with that amount, I'm not going to be too fussy about it. Uh, the residue, I know it's going to be clean. And that's pretty much the standard cleaning procedure. Let me just wipe off the excess. Uh, reassembly, same basic steps. For the reassembly, it's the same basic steps as what you did to get it out. Uh, you have another pin here that you can remove if you wanted to tear this down even more. Personally speaking, I, I don't shoot this gun enough, and I won't be shooting it enough, so it's just going to be basically sitting. So I make sure I have a good amount of oil on all the internal spring parts so that they stay nice. Uh, not worried about rust hitting it. Uh, all the springs are still very tight. So I, I won't complain about anything on this. And uh, like I'll, I was explaining earlier in the video, you see how now I can't even get this lineup. So you're going to actually have to physically, uh, no pun intended here, spread them. Aha, uh -huh, you see? Like as they say in French, Papa et Mama. So, from this point on, we can uh, continue with the reinstallation process. Just uh, line up your hole there. Remember, shoulder side is always on the side of your serial number. So, just line that up. You might need to wiggle it a little bit. Uh, like anything that's old, nothing lines up ever the way it's supposed to. But uh, surprisingly, on this firearm, the tolerances are extremely tight. Uh, for example, I'll show you in a second, this, this shoulder locking plate, if you don't get it in the exact right spot, it'll look like it's perfectly seated and then you'll go to cock gun and nothing will function properly. So we'll uh, reinitiate this. And like I was saying, can be a bit of a, a bitch, excuse the language. Right. Once you get that on, that the rest of this part, once this is uh, in place basically, you can see, I don't have it. There we go. Is that okay? Yeah, that's about right. So now it doesn't want to go anywhere. So from here, you see you have your little depressor pin. There is an orientation. Who are new, or if you ever get your hands on one, you've never taken one apart. Uh, my advice to you is do check online. The videos are very helpful. Uh, this part here is basically your locker. Uh, there's no pin that holds everything in place. It's this plate and your front pin here. So what you do is uh, very standard. There's only one way it works, you know. Squares and circles don't work, so you got to do it the way it tells you to. Uh, what I like to do is I'll put my finger in the trigger guard and my, my thumb on the actual barrel. And what you have to do is you have to line this up where it can stop everything in its place. So I like to push everything back. Uh, line up your little, here let me show you. You have a back shoulder here which goes into your slot there. So we'll line this all up together. Clamp it down while holding the barrel back. Or give yourself just a second break to make sure that you're on here properly. And then from this point on, you will click it into space, turn it up, and now you'll be able to cock the firearm and shoot. So uh, that's uh, it for the standard cleaning operation of a 1939 Luger. P08. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
Uh, stay tuned for more.